you guys, welcome to Consume the Goodness. My name is Kendra, I'm a certified lifestyle and weight industry coach and this channel combines healthy lifestyle with God's word. Okay, so I just had a thought doing my uh, workout here. So I decided to share it now before I lose it. But uh, first, this bike is squeaky. I'm on, this is workout 10 now for the uh, July 1776 Freedom Challenge. So seven workouts to go, not too bad. I think we have what, like oh, about a week and a half left of July. So I can totally get seven workouts in then. Maybe I should have slowed down a little bit more before I started this. Anyway, the thing that I was thinking of was the things that we stick to. And I just wondered if any of you guys have ever really thought about the things that we stick to. Okay, so just thinking of all the things that we go through in all areas of life. So if it's like a health or weight loss journey type of thing, I will just use my own stuff as an example. So, for example, different things that we go through. I have done, starting at age 13, a crap ton of diets. At the top of my head, I can think, I can remember. I've done Weight Watchers, Atkins, Six Week Body Makeover, HCG, Low Fat, Very Low Calorie, Calorie can Counting, Calorie Shifting, Carb Shifting. Those are just some of the things that I've done to try to lose weight over the years. So all these different things. I don't know, other things, other examples, like maybe love-wise or relationship-wise, the, the, the things that we stick to, like sticking with my husband, or the friends that, you know, we know people. We, most of us have made lots of friends over the years throughout all the different grades that we've been in and different jobs that we've had. But then just the like few, the handful of few that we actually stick to, true friends. Even YouTube channels, the ones that we subscribe to and we actually stick with and watch. Let's see, we could use like, this one isn't a personal example for me, but different religions, you know, people might go from all these different things until they find their way to Jesus. Just the Bible, basically truly following the Bible. And then even other little things like the detergent that we choose to stick to or food brands, clothes brands, cleaning products, just the different things. So we have all these different things, right? But I was really thinking about the stuff that we stick with. I think it's really cool to look back at all the things that we've gone through and all the options that we have, all the things that we've tried, and then really looking at the things that we have stuck with and then really thinking about the reasons why we stuck to those things. So just thinking about why, why did, of all the different things that I've tried, why, why is it the low carb, you know, keto, carnivore lifestyle way of eating that I stuck to? And why is it my husband that I stuck with? The friends that I have and the channels that I'm subscribed to, so many of you guys watching, the workouts that I do, why are these the things that I stick to? And when you really stop and think about all the things and then the things that, that you chose to stick with, and then the reasons why, it feels really good. And then, you know what, I actually guess that this, would, I think it would actually, I think it, it could actually be good to look at the things that we have stuck to that maybe aren't that good for us. Um, it might not feel as good, at least at first, but thinking about maybe bad habits that we have and why we stick to those things, but stopping to think about why, why do I have this bad habit? How come after all these years, and even though I know that it's not good for me, why am I sticking to it? That can be a really good way to just examine ourselves and it could be a really good opportunity to do better, you know? To look at that and say, okay, I know this isn't good. I need to think about why I stuck with this and work on that and then, you know, grow from there, improve from there. So I think it could even be good in in that way too. Ooh, I think I'm done. Tell me this workout, boop, boop. Hold please. Anyway, I just wanted to share this random thought with you guys in the moment uh, instead of waiting and then trying to write stuff down, which I normally need to do. And you know what? If I did, there probably would have been a lot more said because that would have given me more time to say things. So this might have been good that it was just random off the top of my head in the moment what I was thinking about. I hope that it made sense. I feel like it probably did. I did want to share this random thought though. I think that it's a good one because... When we look at our lives, how we're living, you know, our lifestyle, and then just really look at what we started at some point, you know, at some point we started doing something. And then out of those things, looking at the things that we chose to stick with, I just feel like it can be, or I know now from experience that it is a really nice um, moment of gratitude and appreciation, which is 
so good. And then also if we're looking at the things that we have stuck that we've stuck with that maybe are not so good. I think that that also is a helpful moment. You know, it can be a really helpful moment to look at the things that we maybe need to not stick to anymore, you know, and start something new to stick to. That is it for today. I hope that it inspired some type of thought process or a moment of just thinking, looking back at things and having a lot of appreciation. When you dig in, like when I think about why I stuck with my husband, why why I chose to stick with him. Out of all the different guys, why him? And that seems like it goes so much, it just, it starts to, you start to go on and on and on. And you can do that in so many different areas of your lives. You start to think about all the things about them, about this man or woman or your friends. You know, you start to think about all these things and then that can lead to other things like things that maybe sometimes we take for granted. And then I think that it's nice to share those things with people. It might seem just really corny and random, you know, just at any random point of the day, just tell someone, oh my gosh, when you do this seriously, it, it actually, it makes me feel so good or it's really helpful for me when you do this or when you do that, or I love this thing about you, you know? And they might be caught off guard like, um, okay, thanks. <laughs> But still, I feel like it's, I don't know, I just, I'm just big on communication. So I feel like it's good to even communicate those types of things. The appreciation that we have for people and why we appreciate them. But uh, anyway, I hope that this inspires and motivates you guys to do the thinking stuff that I was talking about. All right, that's it. I love you guys so much. God bless. And I hope to have you back for the next one.